He does look quite cranky. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We have a nice image there of Crankcase in his alt mode. His name is Crankcase Transformers, and he is a Deluxe Class Class of Slow Class 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 of the Luho. On the side of the box, we have the lovely Legacy artwork. On this side, we have some lovely artwork of Crankcase himself up top. Legacy on the bottom words, things barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. That's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Crankcase, the newest Decepticon in this Legacy line. And uh, yeah, he is a heavy remold of skids, but uh, yeah, not a bad looking bot here. So let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his abs, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. Focus on the noggin. There it is. It's a nicely done face sculpt there. You got nice blue. You got the orange there on the face. You got some nice metallic coloration there for his pecs. Some nice silver. Oh, bro, not too bad. And again, he does share some parts with skids. Um, We'll see that a bit more later, but uh, moving down the legs here. See the big old fates. And these wheels are supposed to be flipped in. I always forget to do that. It's supposed to be tucked in. There we go. But, uh, yeah. Let's see that. Big old fates. Move up the back. Got the crankcase and booty. And you can see the backpack kind of hanging out there. He does kind of have some wings. If you want to kind of splay those out, you can do what you want there. But all in all, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get some wiggly waggly. can look up a little bit, look down, not really much. Head can do a full 360. You know, you can, you can always tell who he's aligned with when you look at the back of his head. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. They can also rotate outward at the shoulder due to transformations, right? If you need it, it's there. You have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. Waist rotation. Legs can move forward. Whoops. Legs can move forward. That far, you can pretty much do the big boots. Back about that far outward, he can do almost the full split. Almost. You have thigh rotation, 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and the feet cannot move up, cannot move down, but they do have ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, you get a blaster here done in a smoky trans clear and plastic. And you also get the uh, the front of his alt mode, which is a separate part. What parts for me? Shh. It's okay. It's okay because it does become a weapon. If we take this panel and bring it down and around, you can see it exposes barrels. So he can hold this as a weapon if you want. And if you don't want to do the parts forming, you can totally leave this on his chest. Never remove it. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. But if you want the option, you have the option. Options are good. You know how it works. You can just flip that around. And he can wield both of his weapons. And he can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. And all of that good stuff right there. And all the weapons. Blush compatible. Yes, they are. Blush compatible. Yes, they are. They are. Even the, uh, the bumper gun here. Is blues compatible? We can plug one here, we can plug one in here, and we can do a big old double crankcase in That's right, that's right, why not? Dare I say, why not? Why not? And also, if you notice, there are some, uh, some shoulder cannons here on mine. <laughs> On mine, this side is like loose, so it doesn't like to stay up. It just flops back down. I have to fix that. But these are not blues compatible, unfortunately. You can't, you can't plug any blues onto those. But he does have those shoulder cannons as well. That one, that one just doesn't. That, yeah, there we go. Sometimes there's a sweet spot where it'll stay, but a lot of times it'll just fall right down. But hey, things you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the Megs, as you can see. 
how that works out. Here he is with Prime. And here he is with Skids. So you can see what they changed, what they kept the same. You can see what's going on there. You can see who's who, what's what, where's how, and why is when. Let's give you a turn around here. Get a look at the both from all angles there. But yeah, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing we need to do is we need to come back here and we're going to first we need the camera to focus there we go first thing we need to do is we need to take this section here just bring that up and then drop it down like so once you've done that you're going to take this whole chest assembly and bring it up and then that'll help everything just kind of drop down like that make sure that this panel is pushed all the way up so you can see that lovely decepticon symbol so we got that done, and now we're going to move on to the lower body. We're going to bring these panels down. You can connect the legs together. They just tap together like so. And what's going to happen here is you're going to take this whole crotch assembly here and collapse that up into the body of the vehicle. And that will sit just like that in there. And then you just bring this down. There are tabs and slots for that roof section. So just line all of that up like that. And once you've done that, you want to bring the arms down. You're going to swing them in and then rotate the shoulder outward. And there's a little tab right here that'll go up into the forearm there. So just locate that. Second burst aside first. Just bring that in and swing that out. Tab that section in. And just make sure that these shoulder bits are pushed up, like so. And once you've done that, you just rotate this entire rear assembly in like that. Make sure it clears everything. You can bring those wheels out on either side. And then just bring these side panels down. There are little tabs and notches right here. Those will sit in just to secure everything into place. And lastly, but not leastly, I mean, by all rights and accounts, you could totally leave the front of the car looking like that. But if you don't like that, you can just bring this in, just flip this panel back around. That will plug into the front. And there you go. There you have Crankcase in his alt mode. You get a good spin out of him, too. Very good spin. But there he is in his alt mode. And it looks good. Just a big, boxy, chunky vehicle here. Not too bad. I do have my issue with it, though, as far as the coloration is concerned. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You see that front bumper there. You have the lights picked out in silver. And you have that nice, smoky, transparent plastic there for the windshields and the windows. Got the nice blue stripes. The blue really pops. I really like that. Again, nice Decepticon symbol right there on the hood. The rims are painted in silver. The rear wheels, as you can see, are pinned in. The front wheels are clipped, so unfortunately it doesn't. It doesn't look good because it doesn't match, but that's okay. I'll, I'm going to paint that, and that'll make it look a bit better. Then you have the back here. You got the spare tire. Nice coloration back there with the silver. Not too shabby. There's the top. There is the bottom. He does have visible hash. Yeah, no, it is what it is. <laughs> but he can roll, as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here it is with legs. With Prime. And here he is with Skids. So you can see how that works out. And again, you can see how they pretty much... Totally uh, reshelled the alt mode here. Give it a turn around, and there you go. Now, as far as weapon storage goes, yes, you can store the weapon 
on this dude. There is a port right on top. You just plug it on and voila, there is your weapon storage. Now my one minor complaint, it's just a nitpick. I don't know, it could be just me. I just find it kind of weird is um, the, the, the different colored blacks we have here because we have like a matte black that goes into a gloss black and then goes back into a matte black and it's just kind of just a little weird to me. I don't know. It could just be me. I don't know, but I just find it kind of weird, but <laughs> just something to point out, but there you go. So there you have Crankcase, and uh, yeah, not a bad figure. You know, it's a heavy remold of Skids, so if you like the Skids mold, you might like this guy too. Um, you know, the robot mode looks pretty good. The alt mode, I think, looks really good. Just weird with the matte and then gloss and then back to matte coloration. I, I just find that a bit weird. But the transformation works well, smooth, fluid, enjoyable. I personally like how the front of the car becomes another blaster for him. I think that's pretty cool. So overall, not a bad figure in my opinion. So there you go. And now I picked mines up from Robot Kingdom, but you can get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com. Also, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek! Be proud. Bomb in your face. Yeah, what is it? Ah, Crankcase, listen, I have a mission for you. Oh, I hate missions. Um, okay, well, how about some, uh, some light recon? No, oh, I hate recon. Okay, you can always do some, uh, some, you know, desk work. I hate desk work. Yeah, everybody hates desk work, but still. Was there anything you don't hate? No. Well, then I guess I shouldn't ask you about me. No. Nope.